This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. If we do run updates, chances are we're going to run up against a situation where an update has failed to install. For example, here I can see desktop 280, okay, it had an error. Now there are a couple ways we can kind of drill into this. First of all, I could actually go to here, updates with errors, figure out what update errored out. I can just go to the next page, page two. Okay, I can see it's this particular update, so I can click on it to get more information. I can read about it, see what it is. Let's see, it's a defin up, net definition update, okay. And up here, maybe I want to see if it's successfully installed on any other computers. So I could change this to failed or installed not applicable. And click on run report. Now let's just go over our page and I can see, okay, I got some other computers here where it was installed. And I can click on the installed link and I can see exactly when it was installed. So, okay, so this tells me, you know, there's probably something going on with this particular computer because it's successfully installed on all these other ones and a couple of these are Windows 10 machines also. Now, if it failed on all of them, then, okay, something else is going on. You know, are other updates installing correctly or not? If so, then there appears to be something wrong with this particular update. So with this one, Desktop 280, I'm going to go over to Desktop 280 to try to troubleshoot it. And I could remotely connect to it as well. And before do, I do that, actually, I could probably look and see what the actual error was. Okay, so download failed. So that's where the problem was. Now let's go over to Desktop 280. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and launch my event viewer. And first of all, I might just take a look at some administrative events. This is going to be like your warnings and your errors. Well, let's go back over to our report here real quick. I can see that, okay, it failed at 3.22 a.m. So that's about the time I want to look to see what errors happened. So I'll go ahead and scroll down to that particular time. And we got eh, not much errors in that, on that, that particular time. So the next log we might want to look at is our Windows logs, I'm sorry, our application and service logs. Let's expand out Microsoft, expand out Windows, and I'm going to scroll all the way down and go to our Windows Update client. And see what else we got going on here. Okay, I got Windows Update failed to download update. Okay, so we got we got a couple of these. This is going to be similar to what we received from our report, but we may find other errors here that can tip us off as to what's going on. The next place we're probably going to want to look here, on older computers, if we go to the C drive, Windows, and click on Windows Update. This is Windows Update.log. It's a log file. Now with newer versions of Windows, we actually have to run this PowerShell commandlet to, to view the log. But with other older versions, we can go ahead and, and just read it from here. So let's go ahead and run PowerShell. And we'll go ahead and run it. And this basically converts it into readable form and puts it on our desktop. And it normally takes a minute or two to completely run. Okay, so it completed, and you can see where I put it on my, my desktop. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here it is. And this is going to be a pretty detailed log of all the different things that happened during uh, the Windows Update process. So here we can most likely see what type of error happened and why. And I can search around. I can search by you know the time, or I can try to find the particular error. And I found it. And if nothing else, it'll give us something to plug into Google to try to figure out. I mean, it might just be an error code, and you can plug it into Google. And if I do that, it actually came up with something that let me know that, oh, this was the computer that I configured the local group policy object, and it has that new alternate download source. And, you know, maybe I left a space in there or something like that, or 
Maybe it just needs to be filled in because it's a new GPO option that isn't working quite right. But at least it pointed me in the right direction. So I went ahead and uh, changed it to not configured because I'm not using a local group policy object. I'm using group policy in Active Directory. And also another thing we can do is we can try to run it manually. After we do something like that, we can go to Settings and go to our Updates and Security and check for updates and try to install it kind of manually as opposed to waiting for the schedule and see if any changes we make actually worked. Now another good place to look if we feel like the problems with the server probably because maybe we're, a lot of clients are failing. Well we can go to our computer management here and I'll just connect to our WSUS server and we can look at event viewer on our WSUS server. Administrative events is a good place to go. You know, we might have some sort of problem with the server, and this will tip us off as to what's going on with it. And also our application and security and system logs. IIS, uh, WSS is heavily dependent on it, so we could be having a problem with IIS also. And a lot of times those events will show up here in Event Viewer. Uh, another place to look is on our WSS server. I'm going to go to the C drive. Program Files, Update Services, Log Files. And there's going to be two logs here, Software Distribution. So this can kind of tip us off if something's going wrong in particular. As well as the Change Log, if we want to see what changes were made. Maybe a change was accidentally made to the server, and we can see that, oh, things started failing around this time. And it lets us know, for example... Uh, deleted deployment install of definition update Windows Defender and it tells you who did it so if it's not us then maybe we can go to the person and say hey you know what exactly uh, you know did you change there appears to be a problem at that time might be related might not be related but at least it can help us track down some potential issues